Welcome everyone to the Loading Ready Run YouTube update for May? Okay, so it's been a little while. Big thing to talk about this time. The biggest thing is that we are running a Kickstarter for a documentary about Desert Bus. You can find out all the information about it at this link here or at the link in the description. But the short answer is we are contracting out Flying Saucer Media to make a documentary about not just the 10 year history of the Desert Bus for Hope event, but specifically the organization and production of Desert Bus 10, our 10th year as it comes up in November. As I say in the Kickstarter video, we're hiring another company to do it because we, we, we can't. We can't do Desert Bus and do a documentary about ourselves. It doesn't make sense. Also, they're really good at doing documentaries, so that's, the, that's why they're doing it uh, instead, instead of us. Also, this is not a for-profit project. We're not trying to turn this into a cash cow. We just want to get this thing made. So please hop over to the campaign page, check it out. I'm sure all your questions will be answered over there. If not, please ask in the comments here or at Loading Ready Run on Twitter. I will be able to answer any of those. I will briefly tease you with the backer rewards though. There is a poster by Michael Lunsford who does all the Desert Bus posters every year. There is a t-shirt by Fangamer who does the wonderful Desert Bus t-shirts every year. There is a pack of Cards Against Humanity which will be co-written by ourselves and the folks at Cards Against Humanity, a 15 card pack all about Desert Bus. There's also a high quality download of the soundtrack and you can get any of those things individually or all of them in a big group. So please check out the campaign, consider contributing. If you already have contributed, please tell your friends. We'd really like to show you this story. Since last we spoke, we released an episode of Commodore Hustle and an episode of Friday Nights. So you probably wanna check those out. Friday Nights still happening, not monthly this year, Wizards has changed the schedule for 2016, so there will be a few fewer episodes, a few fewer episodes in 2016. The next one's actually coming up in July, but then they're nearly monthly until the end of the year after that. For those kind people who have supported our Patreon at the $10 or more level and are waiting for their thank you card and possible secret gift, we are working on that. There's a lot of them. We wanted to wait until the whole gratitude wall thing is over with. That's being installed soon. And so it sort of backed up a little bit and now we have hundreds of them to send out because you're amazing and thank you for your ongoing patience. Patients. But uh, thank you cards are ready and will be sending out very soon. The biggest change to our ongoing schedule is that our streaming calendar is being radically shaken up. We decided that the streams we were doing were not playing to our strengths as comedians and entertainers as well as they could, and we wanted to bring you better stuff, we think, and we're really excited about the upcoming changes. The shows that are sticking around are LRR, MTG, and Checkpoint, which will continue as normal, Let's Nope and Watch and Play, which will now alternate weeks in the same time slot, Crossing the Streams and AFK. Now each of these shows are weekly, so there'll be plenty of streams to see all of us playing games together. And Adam's Game House and Rhythm Cafe continuing on so that there's even stuff to watch on Saturday and Sunday. But what new is coming to the channel? 18 Games and Counting, where James and Paul will play whatever game is 18th most viewed on Twitch at that time. New Day Tuesday, where a rotating cast of hosts is going to be playing new game releases. Talking Simulator, where Alex and Cameron will be looking at games as a medium in terms of narrative, theme, and art direction. Matters of Import, where where Beej and Ian muddle their way through untranslated import games and tell you about Japan in the process. Tinker Taylor Solder Fry, where Ian and various co-hosts do hands-on projects, not as a how-to, but a let's try. And the flagship show, Loading Ready Live, a Saturday night variety show that definitely will be a thing, and we're trying to figure out exactly what that thing will look like. You're gonna wanna tune in and find out. That's it for now. That was a lot of stuff, but I'm aiming to be back next month with more new things to talk about. So until then, please check out our Patreon if you aren't, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. I'm being less ironic with these things now because it turns out that we actually would just like you to subscribe to the channel and check out our Patreon. So thank you always for watching. It means a lot. Until next time.